I ran out of toilet paper. I don't know what to use. Ran out. But while I was looking for some toilet paper, I found the Legend of Hercules script. Let's check it out. So I have the script of the Legend of Hercules, and um, let me just show it to you. As you can see, Gladiator plus 300 plus Passion of the Christ equals Hercules. I'm not gonna wipe my ass with this shit, but my dad might want to. So I'm gonna save it, I guess. Legend of Hercules. I'm a 17 year old kid. That's like the opposite. Tom makes his big with the brain and astro. Don't give two f about dough with the cash flow. I'm just a young man with good intentions. I'm from Southwest Florida Mansion. My dad's 65. My mother's 58. Legend of Hercules, directed by Rennie Harlan, who did Die Hard 2, and classics such as Cutthroat Island, 12 Rounds, and The Covenant. Let's see how this movie is. Movie. I've seen high school plays better than this shit. It was written by three or four brilliant, brilliant writers. And it stars that huge, big motherfucker on Twilight. Let's see how this story and plot goes. So the thing is, I don't know much about Greek mythology or Hercules. I know that Hercules is the son of Zeus. And I know something about him choking a snake or some shit like that. And I know about him doing the 12 labors. But that's pretty much it. Does this movie teach me anything about Hercules? No, no, not at all. It's pretty much a ripoff of 300. Gladiator. Even the story of Jesus and the Passion of the Christ? Like, are you kidding me? Really? So what happens in this movie? Well... Zeus and Hercules' mom, the queen, they have an orgasm, which is hilarious. The king walks in, you know, he looks like Gerard Butler. Here, I'll even post a picture of King Leonidas. And here's King who gives a fuck. This dude is so over the top cheesy. <laughs> this guy thought this was 300 part 3. When he got this part, he was like, Hercules takes place in Greece, huh? 300 took place in Greece, too. I am king. I will study King Leonidas from 300. I will grow a beard and I will yell and yell and yell some more. There was one moment where he was just yelling and I thought he was going to burst out and be like, I am acting, and this is Spada. So anyways, while the queen's having a orgasm, no hands, the king walks in, and he's like, where is he? Where is he? He's just cutting people. He kills a couple people out of nowhere. He yells in the rain. Yeah, it's, it's that kind of cheesy. Next, the queen has a baby, and guess what she names it? Hercules. So next it jumps 20 years. Poof. 20 years. No child montage. Nothing. Just 20 years. And he's in love. He's just thrown into a romance. It's a shitty romance. There's a scene where it's a full moon. It seems like it's full moon every night time. And they're both looking at the moon. Yeah, it's fucking cheesy. It's it's horrible. It's a horrible romance story. No explanation why they're in love. They're just in love. Love works like that sometimes, right? Right. <laughs> However, his brother likes that girl, and she doesn't. So, the brother, he hates Hercules. Hercules' brother 
makes Joaquin Phoenix from Gladiator look like a sane person. He's that over the top. One of my favorite scenes, something in my eye. It's probably just a shitty move that's in my eyes. But anyways, one of my favorite scenes in this movie is when Hercules and his brother are outside and they run into a lion, a horribly CGI lion. And it looks like a stuffed animal. Hercules is wrestling a stuffed lion. That's what it looked like. He snaps the stuffed animal's neck. And it's hilarious. The king, who hates Hercules also, sends Hercules on a journey with other soldiers. They get ambushed by Cornrow's man. And that's hilarious too. That's another hilarious character that's in this movie. Hercules and his companion from the journey, they get sold in slavery and become gladiators. Like, I don't know, the fucking movie Gladiator. The companion in this movie actually did a good job in this. He was pretty much the only person in this whole movie that was actually trying. And I kind of feel bad for him because this was a shitty movie. And yeah. The main character as Hercules is lifeless. There's a scene in this movie where Cornrow's man asks him, who are you? And he's like, I am Hercules. And the man's like, Cornrow's man. And he just knocks him out. I would have knocked him out too because I wouldn't believe him. I wouldn't believe him as Hercules. I could see Ren, uh, what's his name, Rennie Harlan on his throne just being like, <laughs> excellent, excellent. Excellent. Give it to the fans. Send it out. Send it out. What did I think of this movie? This was bad. You guys know it's bad. I know it's bad. However, I would be lying if I didn't find this movie entertaining as hell. If you like watching bad movies, this is the movie for you. Everybody else, and if you like Greek mythology, stay the fuck away from this. I would give this movie a 2 out of 10. If you like bad movies, rent it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.